Hello everyone, my name is Novia Lia. I'm student majoring in chemistry at University of Jakarta. Now, I am going to tell you about the summary that I wrote after watching two videos from English class last week. From the two videos that have been shown, we can see that human life is always related to chemistry. We can find a chemical connection with our daily life that is, when we breathe, when we eat. Chemicals are also found in things we use frequently, such as plastic, medicines, clothes, vehicle fuel, etc. We can see that the things we use are related to chemicals, for example, the use of gasoline for motorcycles. Gasoline is needed before we ride a motorcycle. Gasoline has several types and is determined from the quality of gasoline obtained. The quality of gasoline is determined from the octane number obtained through the combustion test on the gasoline sample, so that combustion character is obtained. For example, Pertamax gasoline, which consists of 92% is so obtained and 8% Captain produce an octane number of 92. Another example, the use of plastic as a container to store food. The type of plastic commonly used to store food is polyethylene terephthalate or PET. PET is condensation polymer formed from the acid and the alcohol compounds. There are two stages of PET manufacturing process. The first step involves the reaction of terephthalic acid esterification with ethanol to produce bis-hydroxyethyl terephthalate or BHET and methanol. The second stage is a BHET condensation reaction to produce PET and ethylene glycol. PET can be used for single use only. It is not recommended to use it repeatedly, but PET is a type of plastic that can be recycled. So, after using this plastic as a food container, it can be recycled into other useful items. So, that is my summary from two videos. Thank you and see you.